Okay, everybody, here we go. It's me, Gregory Manorino. Sunday, March 3rd, 2024. This is my newest segment of Markets A Look Ahead. People, let me start off with this. There are so many people who have been absolutely indoctrinated into thinking, believing sincerely that if the stock market is going higher and higher and higher, we can't possibly be experiencing some kind of a systemic meltdown, but we are. Again, it's the illusion of the market, which you and I have covered since forever. It's, it really is some kind of indoctrination here, and it's being utilized, it's being weaponized right now, that kind of uh, mentality. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, we are experiencing a systemic meltdown, a crisis of liquidity on an un unprecedented scale. We're going to cover some of that right here. But before we do that, I want to explain to you a phenomenon, another phenomenon that is going on right here, right now. And you and I called it out before it happened. Now, what are we talking about? You and I understand the drivers of this market. Okay, we're not one of those freaks who are fixated on what the Dow Jones Industrial Average is doing or what the S&P 500 or the NASDAQ, yes, we're hitting record high, record high, record high. It just doesn't seem to stop as we covered, I believe it was on, on Friday or Thursday. Nothing seems to be getting in the way of this market, but you and I, again, we call that too. Understanding here that the global economy is being dismantled piece by piece by central banks as they continue to inflate people beyond anyone's wildest dreams. This would drive cash into the stock market. You and I said right here, the faster that the economy craters, the higher the stock market is going to go. This is a very strange paradox for people who do not understand what's happening to get. They don't get it. They don't see the connection. They think stock market high, everything is beautiful. And it's that that mechanism there is of course being weaponized by, by those who are seeking to deceive you. You understand? Anyway, this other mechanism here, it's very, very ugly, very dastardly um, that is occurring here. That is cash making its way into the, into the perceived safety as that. Again, you and I called this out. More war, more death will drive cash into the perceived safety of debt, suppressed bond yields. Cash will make its way into the stock market. This is the Federal Reserve. You understand? It has nothing to do with anything else. This is it. It's a mechanism to pull cash into the now because, again, we are in a full-blown full-on crisis of unprecedented proportions, and it's about to get much worse. Now, with that, I want to cover this with you. Another piece of work that you will find in your inbox if you subscribe to my free newsletter, it's there now. I'm going to urge you to read through this, and you have my full permission, and I hope you do. Share this stuff with everybody, okay? Um, this is gold. If people can understand what's in these papers, and I do this almost every single week for you, all right, and I do it for free, um, pay attention to this stuff because this is going to give you an idea of what's happening, why it's happening, and what you should be doing about it. You already know that if you follow this blog. I mean, in my opinion, you are the most well-prepared people uh, on the internet, if you follow this blog, you know exactly what's happening, you know why it's happening, you know who your enemy is, and you know what they want. Let's talk about that again. In your inbox, you're going to find it there right now, okay? So, go check that out. I'm going to read through this, and I'm going to, obviously, as I always do with this, um, fill in a few blanks that you're not going to find in this, in this paper. So, systemic meltdown, more debt, more death will push the stock market higher by yours truly over here. So some of this, again, is review, but pay attention anyway. So as you already know, no other human endeavor on earth creates a greater need for more borrowed dollars than war. Nothing, nothing even comes close. Now here, in what, what 
was once the United States of America. This is not the United States of America. This is a corporate agenda uh, being run by the Federal Reserve, the military industrial complex. We have no representation anymore, and it ain't going to change no matter who they put behind the Resolute Desk. Wake up. Anyway, here what was once the United States of America. The national debt is rising by $1 trillion every 100 days. You think that's just by accident or by coincidence here? And this is just the beginning. Soon, this number, this $100 trillion, every 100 days will drop to 80 days, then 70 days, then 50 days. You get you get the picture here? That's where it's going to go. Hyper debt, which is what we're seeing, is a symptom of a worldwide systemic meltdown. It has nothing to do with the stock market, all right? There are going to be people here. They're going to comment on this video by the title. Oh, Greg, you've been saying a systemic meltdown since forever. It's not happening because they're looking at the stock market. They're brainwashed. They, they have no conception of what's actually going on. They are the dumbed down. You get it? Anyway, what this really comes down to is a full-on liquidity crisis on a scale which has never been seen before. Moreover, it's going to get enormously worse very fast now consider this for a moment here's a little review for you where does all this cash come from to fund all of these wars that are going on here the answer is that funding for wars comes directly from central banks who are more than willing to lend you know that the inevitable and now unstoppable can't be stopped end game for world central banks is just two things which really boils down to just one Collectively and worldwide, it is the ultimate goal of central banks to become both the lender and buyer of last resort. Does that sound familiar to you? I've been telling you that for 10 years. To own the world, thereby creating a slave system and slave planet. Central banks are giving every citizen on this planet just enough rope to hang themselves. And of course, it's our loving, caring politicians. Um, who are pushing us ever closer to the cliff. You know that. I mean, uh, these people don't work for you. None of them do. If they did, anyone even running for presidents, him with the red hat or the other freak who doesn't know day or night, night or day or anything else yet that's going on here, talking about Biden, Stein, now they can't tell you this stuff. They cannot tell you the truth and they never will. And I'll talk more about that in a moment here. Um, anyway here, uh, if you have... Just the most basic understanding of how the system works, it will make sense to you. You'll understand why things are what they are. The mechanism comes down to how the current central bank debt-based system fundamentally functions. It must function this way. The debt-based system, this is review, must hyperinflate exponentially. That is, it must continually and relentlessly create more debt via any mechanism. And war is the end result. Period. Does that sound familiar to you? It should. The current situation is dire. The fact is system liquidity, again, is rapidly drying up. This means that although the system appears to be already completely debt saturated, there's simply not enough debt to sustain the system. War, again. Central bankers, politicians, insiders, all understand the current situation, but they cannot allow you the public to become aware because if they did it would cause worldwide pandemonium people would start to focus on what's really going on not the reds versus the blues and the hates versus the non-haters uh, the, and, and, and whatever it might be here all the deceptions that are going on so what they use instead is to they distract you they deflect from the truth and then they lie about it they use every and any means possible to keep the people deceived uh, and not knowing the truth. Does that sound familiar too? You think I'm making this stuff up here? Hyperinflating debt with expanding war will continue for now to drive more cash into the stock market. You know the mechanism. We're going to outline it very briefly. The stock market is already in a truly epic hyper bubble beyond anyone's wildest dreams. However, it is my opinion that as long as the Federal Reserve and other central banks around the world continue to artificially suppress bond yields, and you haven't seen anything yet, 
The Fed is going to start cutting rates with other central banks around the world. That's going to allow them to hyperinflate even more. Because again, how does a central bank suppress rates? Do they just say it? Do they have magical powers? Are they like Merlin or anything? No. They have to create this cash out of nothing, add digits to a screen, and then buy the debt which is massively inflationary, but you're not allowed to know that either. I wonder why no one's telling you that. Why is it that hmm, no one running for president is telling you that right now? Do you find that interesting? No. Again, it's, they're going to distract you with the most nonsensical garbage. They're going to attack each other. Again, divide and conquer, but they will not tell you the truth. Wake up. All right, anyway... Um, with that, commodity prices will remain artificially suppressed, creating massive opportunity for you and me, for people to understand where this is going to go to buy more on the cheap, gain exposure to commodities, gold, silver, platinum, palladium, cryptocurrencies as well. People, look, I am working my, my damn hardest to keep all of you ahead of the curve, and I, honestly, I think I'm doing a darn good job at that. Um, it's very hard to deny that, honestly. Um, anyway, with that said, people, look, you got what's going on here. Do you understand... What's happening? Do you realize that we're in this? This is a systemic meltdown. And you know, I want you to pay attention to one specific, a couple of things. But I want to draw your attention again, really quickly, to something that was in this passage here. Hyper debt is a symptom of a worldwide systemic meltdown. Do you see that? Um, that should make sense to you. And it also should make sense to you that central banks, none more so than the Federal Reserve, along with our loving, caring representatives who keep kicking the can down the road here because they can't have a budget because that would restrain spending here, they're giving every citizen just enough rope to hang themselves. You understand? At the same time, dumbing down the public. At the same time, distracting, deflecting, deceiving. You understand? That's what this is the truth. Lying by omission as well, as I said. They, all the insiders, all the politicians, and even those who you don't consider politicians, uh, they all, all, the, all, the, all the billionaires, they know what's going on here, and so do we, okay? But again, nobody knows until everybody knows. So this stuff must be kept secret. It's hidden in plain sight. But people can't say it. They don't understand. They can't. Their brain doesn't allow them to process the information. You understand? I think you get it. But, you, but oh, look, I'm preaching to the choir. All of you here are smarter than I am. All right? Uh, but anyway, please, people, this, this paper, I, I take the time, I, I really do, to write these things up for you. I think, they're, I think it's important. I think it's gold. I, that's why I do it for free. I want you to have it. Uh, if you have not subscribed to my free newsletter, people, please do that. This, there's so much stuff I put out. Like every week I do these kinds of things. A lot of information goes there that I don't get to cover here in these video blogs. So, so you know, look, I'm not telling you this because I'm charging you anything. This is free. It's free stuff. So take advantage of this stuff. We must raise our awareness, people. I don't know another way to put it. I've been telling you this for uh, what feels like 10,000 freaking years. <laughs> Maybe it is. All right, look, um, as, as, as always, people, I, I love you all from the heart. I mean that. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. See you in the morning.